Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the reinforced mean integral structures. So if you click on the rebar top, uh, you're going to see the bunches of reinforcement uh, options. Today we will focus on the bar group and the options and the all options related to the bar group. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I think the uh, a single footing is a very very good example for the illustration of uh, today's video. So that's why I created a single footing, uh, a footing two meters by two meters and uh, one meter uh, deep. Okay, so for the bar group, on uh, we select on the small arrow. You're gonna see bar group for creating a reinforcement bar group for regular shapes, and the curved group. It is uh, mainly used for creating re curved reinforcement bar for uh, curved shapes and circular and uh, river shape catalog. So we're going to talk about bar group uh, for today's video only. OK, so click on the bar group. So uh, I will explain all options uh, each by one. OK, so here the, in, in, in general tab, the river group type is normal. It means the normal distribution of uh, the riba. Uh, it's used for, uh, as I said before, for regular shapes. But you can change it to tapered and tapered bridge and uh, tapered curved. This is a tapered for, for tapered sections and uh, tapered bridge for, for this kind of sections and tapered curved, uh, also tapered N and spiral. So I, I choose the normal, okay? Here the name, it's a uh, name of your reinforcement. It's a main bar, okay? So here we choose the grade according to the, we have so many grades according to BA standard because I choose the uh, UK environment and uh, steel and uh, river detailing row for this project. Okay, so so you can change your uh, rebar grade. I'll use uh, age and the size of the reinforcement. Um, I'll, choose, I'll, I'll uh, choose a 16 and the bending radius. So the bending radius is uh, the program calculates automatically the bending radius according to the standard code. OK, if I choose the 12, you see it changes. OK. If I choose 20, it changes. OK, so it's uh, it is uh, automatic calculation by uh, the program according to your standard. But uh, you you can change you can change it okay so let's start let's uh, select uh, sixteen and uh, let's leave it uh, as a default okay so the class of your rebar let's select two and numbering and uh, hook at starts and hook at ends so let me explain it here if you, if you uh, create a reinforcement like this. A U-shaped reinforcement. So if you start from here and it end from here, this is the hook. It would be your hook at start. If you, if I choose a ninety degree hook, it will create a shape like this at the end, at at the start and at the end. Okay. If I choose uh, one hundred and thirty five, it will uh, create your hook like this in uh, one hundred and thirty five degree. Okay. So. <clears throat> uh, let's get back into the okay so hook at start and hook at end okay. cover thicknesses I'll explain after creating the reinforcement uh, let's uh, leave it at the zero for all the on plane from plane start and end okay let's uh, leave it at the zero okay so when you uh, choose the riba group after after filling your uh, your uh, requirements. So the program asks us to pick part to reinforcement. Okay. So here we're gonna reinforce this uh, single footing. So I select the footing. Okay. So pick the shape of the bar. Okay. Let me interrupt. I'll explain the pick the shape. You should create the shape of your rebar. Okay. So first I should from I. Uh, Let's say we're gonna create a U-shaped bar, okay? So I should create the shape of the bar by selecting these corners, corner one, corner two, 
corner 3 and corner 5 okay if i want to create a, a straight bar okay from here to here so i i just select this here to here okay or here to here this is the shape of your bar and the first step you should define the shape of your of, of your bars okay so okay for group and pick part to the reinforce and let's create a u-shaped bar okay from here to here to here and here okay so metal mouse button to, fin to finish the command after that pick two points to indicate the range of the reinforcement okay so let me explain the range i created the shape like this okay the range the range is from where to where you want to reinforce okay from here to here it is the range okay from here to here oh i want to create from here to the middle of of, of my uh, footing okay so it creates some footing some uh, u-shaped like here from here to here it is a range you should define it okay so okay power group from the shape from here to here okay so i defined the shape and let's uh, define the range of of uh, the reinforcement i want to create these u-bar shapes from here to almost here okay here we go you see that i created the shape and and define the range from here to here okay let me get back and this time i want to create the l-shaped okay middle mouse on the button from here to middle of, of my footing you see that the l shape from here to the middle okay okay Lift again oh sorry from here to here okay so okay so uh let's talk about the hook hook at start or hook at end i started here and uh, finished here okay so hook start let me choose uh, 90 degree it's according to the angle and the radius and the length according it's automatic calculation according to your standard code okay modify you see that 90 degree from the start the angle is 90 degree and the radius, the bending radius is uh, 32 and the length, length of this bend shape is uh, 160. Okay, so you can change to custom. If I want to angle and the radius, you can change all the length, uh, let's say uh, 300. Okay, you see that? Okay, so. And at the end, sorry, at the end, 90 degree hook, you see that, or oh, which is a 135, you see that ending, okay, so, okay, let's get uh, into the 90 degree hook, for both, oh, this is uh, the hook options, <clears throat> uh, in the custom hook, in the custom hook, you can you can uh, write negative angles. It will rotate by 118. This hook is uh, and not uh, the hook will be in this direction. Okay, so let me try it. You see that the the rotation of the hook changes. Okay. Okay, this is the hook at start uh, at at the start at the end. Okay, let me talk about the cover thickness. It's very important, I think. The cover thickness we have uh, we have uh, uh, four options here: uh, on plane and from plane and start and end. Okay, so start and on plane on plane, it will be this this uh, interesting. It will be this cover cover here and cover here on plane it will touch the, the the face of the shape you created before okay so this cover here and cover here and cover here this is 
this is on plane okay so what is the from plane the from plane is related to the range from here oh sorry i don't know why it changes automatically it is from here from here to here this is related to the range okay here zero you see the the bar is uh, touching the 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 the, uh, the face of the footing okay Let me change these values, okay? If I choose on plane, let's say it is uh, 40, you see? The 40, you see that, the value, 40 for all sides, this side and this side, this side. Always, you should remember, on plane cover is related to the, to the created shape, the shape of the reinforcement, the cover of the shape, as I created before the U shape. And the front plane is related to the range, okay? So let me let me uh, input a 100. You see that? It is 100 from the center. It is 100 from here and 100 from here, okay? So 14 from this side. 14 from this side, side, bottom and top. Okay, so it is, and, and, and what about here? So it is related to the start and end, okay? If I choose uh, 40 at start only, you see that? It's it related to the start and end, let's say 50. Okay, so this is a 50 related to the end of the, of the shape. Okay, what if I want to change uh, this cover, uh, like to be 14 and this cover uh, would be 75 and this is uh, 50, okay? So, you should, I created the rebar from here, this is a start, this is a phase 1 and phase 2 and phase 3, okay? Let's say it is uh, 40 and 75 and 50, okay? There we go, you see that? This is 40, this is a phase 1. And 75 for this phase and 50 for this phase. Okay. How many phases you have? You can you can you can change it here. Okay. If I if I created uh enclose it, then the fourth the fourth phase will be here. Okay. So and then uh, and also for the plane, I want to have 80 here and 40 here. I created the range from here to here, so this is a start and this is the end, okay? Let's say 40 and let's say 75, okay? Do you see that? Okay, this is all about the cover and uh, it is a cover thickness or leg length is a cover thickness. And uh, the distribution, the distribution is by exact spacing here. I, I put uh, exact spacing with a flexible first and last. We have so many options. E equal distribution by number of reinforcement bars. Equal distribution. And uh, equal distribution by target spacing. By exact spacing. With uh, flexible first and start off. Okay. So I, I, I recommend to use uh, by... Uh, by target spacing, okay? By exact, by equal distribution by target spacing. Let's say it is, uh, okay. So it creates, uh, a, 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 the, the, the uh, correction is automatic by uh, the software. If I uh, measure from here to here, you see that it's not perfect 200, okay? But it is a target spacing. If I choose equal, by exact spacing with a flexible first space, okay, let's see. The first space is flexible. You see that? It's flexible, but uh, the other the other spacings are uh, exact, let's see. It's exact 200. It's exact 200, okay? But uh, the, the first one is flexible. You see that? By equal distribution of number of reinforcement, this is equally distributed, and you choose the, the number. Let's say it is five, equally distributed, five bars, five number of bars. 
Okay, so it's up to you the, the, the placement of the reinforcement if you have uh, fixed numbers or if you have uh, target spacing or you have uh, exact spacing, it's up to you. By exact spacing, by exact spacing with a flexible last and the first and the last, it's uh, uh, the same, but, but uh, the first and last is different. By exact spacing with a flexible middle space, okay? Mm. You see that the middle, the middle bar is uh, flexible and the others are exact. Let's check. And you see that it's 200. Okay. Oh, sorry. By exact spacing, by exact spacing value with a flexible first and last. This is also a very common. You should uh, use it by exact spacing with a flexible first and last. And by exact spacing, oh, sorry, by, by, by target spacing, okay? So I, I recommend if you choose, uh, if you want to place your rebars by spacing, you choose a distribution by target spacing because it uh, distributes equally out of all bars, okay? So let's try exact spacing value for uh, the flexible first and last. You see that? The others are exact. But the first bar on the last, this is the last bar, on the first, you see that, others are exact. So what is recommended here is uh, equally distributed by target spacing. So uh, you'll get uh, equally distributed of the bars. So in the drawings, you can you can call these bars by, uh, by target spacing. So, um, add, <coughs> Oh, sorry so uh, don't worry about the spacing you can you can have a bar mark but you can have a, a bar mark by the uh, exact space by the target spacing okay so uh, this is all about the today's video uh, hope you stay tuned for the next videos thank you very much and good day